in the, the, the colors getting darker and there's so much more detail. Uh, so uh, there's a lot to see in repeat viewing. Uh, I think people will be surprised in the first time they go through and then when they go through again, uh, even, even Alex's apartment you'll see in her penthouse, you'll see more space that you haven't seen before. Hi, Nelson. Hello, how are you? I'm doing fine in you. Doing great, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and to talk about the morning show season three. So very excited. <laughs> so you work on season one, uh, season two. Yes. So now you move into season three. Can you talk a little bit what changed from one season to another? Well, uh, for one, uh, we were filming season two during COVID, so it was a, a vastly different production situation, uh, fully masked and having to work in pods. So, uh, and, and we were creating sets that looked like they were all over the world and never left Los Angeles. And uh, so one of the big differences this season uh, was even though we were still under uh, a certain level of COVID protocols, uh, it, we were able to travel and go places. We actually uh, got to film a week in New York uh, and we did uh, a little bit uh, outside of LA as well. So that was a little bit different. Um, the, the bigger thing I think that uh, you'll see is a difference between two and three is there a lot of the character spaces, uh, their personal spaces in this season, which we haven't seen before. And so we're able to flesh out a lot of the character details and uh, their likes and, and dislikes and, and their personal tastes uh, as you're experiencing their spaces or what happened during COVID and have they moved and what spaces did they go into? Um, we, we finally get, uh, uh, Bradley out of the hotel and uh, uh, we, we get Corey out of the hotel as well and they get their uh, spaces. And, and I think people are going to be very excited to see those personal, uh, those personal aesthetics. Um, and it, so that's one of the big things that's different. And of course, we go to space in this season. Yeah. So that's, that's so different too. Uh, there's some other surprises later on that are, that are awesome as well. But uh, uh, I think that complexity, the darkness, um, I wanted to have uh, just a, a complex uh, web of uh, almost deceit that you see in the, the, the colors getting darker and there's so much more detail. Uh, so, uh, there's a lot to see in repeat viewing. Uh, I think people will be surprised yeah. in the first time they go through and then when they go through again. Uh, even even Alex's apartment you'll see in her penthouse, you'll see more space that you haven't seen before. Uh, yeah, I love that apartment. I love Bradley's new space. It's amazing. Thank the you. The offices are bigger as yes. well. Yes. yes. They, even like you can see more of Bradley, of Alex, especially uh, Alex. Like in Corey, I yes. love everything. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Um, I was very excited because I've been trying to get specific neighborhoods in New York into the show. And there's not always something in the story that would lead you to go to those neighborhoods. Uh, but uh, for me, Tribeca and Soho have always been uh, places I've loved in New York, as well as down in Brooklyn Heights. And we've gotten those into the show this season. Um, and I think people are going to uh, be really surprised that, uh, you know, Bradley's, uh, her, her amazing loft is, is actually on stage at Sony, you know? <laughs> yeah. Did you have to re recreate anything here in LA like you did for last season, you recreate Lake Como? Did you have to recreate something similar to that or any other space? Like we, we had some things, you know, we have uh, a lot of uh, John Hamm's character, uh, uh, Paul Marks is in Texas, so we were having to do a lot of Texan scenes uh, here. Uh, there, there are various other places, not as not as identifiable as Lake Como per se, uh, but ironically, some of the things I had built to make Los Angeles feel like New York, um, some of those set pieces I actually had to ship to New York when we were filming, so that those areas of New York would look just as much like New York as we were doing here. 
Amazing, amazing, Nilson. This is the time that I have with you. Thank you so much for your time. A lot of success. And thank you. I, I, need, I just need to say that I love In the Heights, so I love your production oh, design there. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. I Bye. really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.